Good morning. This is Brian Johnson. Hope you're having a fantastic Saturday morning. It's a nice, brisk 60 something degrees here in Austin, Texas. Hopefully, you're secure out there in the world with all the blizzards and things that are going on. So, uh, if you are new to my broadcast, do me a favor and type a yes into the message box, please. And we're going to get rolling. I've got some amazing stuff for you today that I believe you will find extremely fascinating. And I believe that it will create... What's up, Cody K. Kane? What's up, Kim Monsabayas? I believe that it will truly create some massive shifts. And I know for a fact it will create miracles if you use what it is that I'm sharing with you today. So I ask you specifically and invite you to suspend all of your disbelief with everything that you've been programmed to believe, knowingly and unknowingly, and allow me to present some information to you and see how it resonates with you. I'm bringing this information to you from over 31 years of experience in the health and wellness field, over probably close to 100,000 hours I have invested at this point. Uh, and I'm not saying that as a pat on my back. I'm saying that is because I am a student to the large, vast field of health and wellness. And I am extremely passionate and geeked out about the stuff that I'm going to talk to you about today. Um, so without further ado, uh, all everybody on right now looks like they are all regulars and I appreciate each of your support. For those of you that are new, the best way to connect with me is on thinkgreatloseweight.com. Uh, get on my email list so I can send you a lot of amazing videos. I send out all my replays. I send out a lot of specific information that you may not catch on my social media feeds. If you are trying to connect with me on Facebook, my Facebook page is maxed out. All you can do is follow me. I, I have to delete a bunch of people and I apologize for that. And that's why I'm saying the best way for you to connect with me is go to thinkgreatloseweight.com. That way you can get access to all my social media feeds in one place and connect with me. And you can also connect with me on Think Great Lose Weight. I'm really honored and grateful to be able to share what I'm going to share with you and all the stuff that I share with you for that. Um, so I invite you to put on your seatbelt, get your pen and pad, open your mind and allow me to do what I do. So I'm going to get a sip. Morning, Mario. Hey, Kathleen. So the topic of today's conversation is, are you cheating yourself or treating yourself? And... I have some notes, more than likely I'm just going to allow God to work through me and to chat with you specifically. Uh, all right, brother, look forward to connecting with you too, Tyson, in a little bit. So let's talk about this. So one of the most fastest ways to determine whether you are functioning in your highest choice in every area of your life is this. Ask yourself, oh, and Mario, yes, thank you for sharing that. Hey, I would really appreciate it if you shared my broadcast. I will be grateful, and I'm still grateful either way. Thank you, Mario, for that. Um, you can leave all your comments and things like that as well. So how to, how to recognize when or if you are in self-sabotage? I'm going to talk about some body language stuff, and I'm going to talk about a few pieces of information that I think you will find extremely valuable. Now, um... Frank, I'm not going to read that right now. So, how to recognize where you're at and what's going on, right? So, if you take a look at your life, you take a look at the people in your life, you take a look at the, the situations, the circumstances, what's up, Malacone? The events. If you take a look at these areas of your life, people, places, circumstances, situation, and events, and you take a look at the feeling that the, that the situations, the people, the, the circumstances and events, if you take a look at the feelings that those create, do they create happiness, joy? Do they create sadness, sorrow, pain? Whatever feelings they create, that's what you are vibrating at emotionally or energetically. That's what you are committed to. Not wrong. None of it's wrong. It's just feedback. I invite you to today, moving forward for the rest of your life, take wrong and right out of the equation and just allow it to be what is. It's just feedback. That's it. Okay? So if you take a look at 
people, places, circumstances, situations, and events, and they're not matching up to where they're your highest choice. And when I mean your highest choice, like when you get out of bed, you're like, man, I love what I do. I love the people in my life. I love my career. I love the stuff that I get to share. I love the situations, circumstances, and events that are showing up in my life, and they are creating more enthusiasm and happiness. If you're not like that, not wrong. There is more available to you. Okay? So let's talk about some things on body language. Body language is the most fascinating stuff that I have ever, ever, ever learned. Like by far, like out of over the 6,000 hours I have invested in disease specific nutrition reversals and why Kiwis reverse asthma and all that stuff, even over all that stuff, what's up Chris? Um, body language by far is it takes the cake. Like when you're talking like right now, your body is doing body language. I just can't see you. And your body may be doing some of this, some of this, some of this, scratching three times, moving your leg, moving your foot. All of that is information. It's not just itches and scratches. There are thousands, if not multiple hundreds of thousands of chemical reactions going on at any given time in our body that is producing an itch or a scratch somewhere on your body that is, e that is representative of emotional information. I assure you, by far, I have seen more miracles happen in seconds to minutes with body language than I ever have with anything else. So let's talk about that. And how does that apply to, am I sabotaging myself, right? Let's get into this, okay? So right now, sit in your chair, wherever you're at. If you're driving, make sure you just pay attention to what I'm about to share with you. Your homework right now is to scan your body. When I say scan your body, I say, all right, let's scan my body. First, we're going to start with our stomach, Okay, we're going to start with our stomach first. So if you check your stomach and you say, all right, is my stomach tight? Do I have any tightness in my stomach? If you have tightness in your stomach, it's okay. That's just meaning that your subconscious emotional body is holding on to fear. Not wrong. Great feedback, matter of fact. I would love to know where I'm at so I know what foundation I get to start with. Okay, now... Second thing, if you zone into your chest and your throat, your chest and your throat is sadness. Not wrong. Great feedback. What's up, Aaron Block? The next one, if you, and this is body language right here. Toot. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. I'll have a lot of those as I'm going through, and I'm self coaching myself why I'm delivering this information because as my miracle is unfolding and I'm helping you create yours. My miracle is unfolding at the same time and divinely orchestrated information is being delivered to me to allow me to understand and to connect with my subconscious body, my emotional body that is in an area of importance. You would consider your subconscious mind to be like an elephant. Your conscious mind is an ant. Hey, Kimberly, that's another conversation. Message me if you want to talk about that. We're not even talking about food today. So your, con your conscious mind is your ant. Your subconscious mind is your elephant. And Gary Keller talks about this specifically, and I am borrowing his idea and giving him credit. In the book called The One Thing, if you have not read it, you must get this book, The One Thing by Gary Keller. Okay? Now, it talks about in the book... And I also talk about in our emotional transformation program on our website, I talk about this, all of this stuff that I'm sharing with you right now. So if you think about this, our elephant and our ant, elephant are, is our subconscious mind and our elephant is our conscious mind, right? Now, think about this. The elephant and the ant are really good friends. It's all good. The elephant, we're talking about, are you sabotaging? Are you cheating yourself or treating yourself? So just hang in there and, and I'll get to your, your stuff. It's all good. I appreciate you though. And um, so the elephant and the ant are good friends and they live in the jungle together. And the elephant's like, hey, Mr. Ant, I would love to go to our favorite pond today and hang out with the hippo and the giraffe 
uh, not the Lions, <laughs> the hippo and the giraffe to, to hang out. It's a great day outside. What do you think about that? And Anne is like, our conscious mind is like, okay, I like that. Let's do that. So they're both cruising through the jungle, moving through the trees, getting over the hill. And now they're at the pond where everybody's hanging out. They're having an amazing time. Now, the elephant's like, hey, I'm ready to go to this other pond. Henry and Larry are going to be over here. And they said it's supposed to be better than this one. Let's do it. The ant goes, you know, I don't know about that. I remember Bob and Sally were saying yesterday that we should go to pond number two over here on the right side. What are your thoughts on that? The elephant's like, no, nah, we're going to go this way. The ant, what do you think the ant has to say? Stay or go? Does the ant win or the elephant win? What's your response? Question on tables. What's your response? Who wins out of the elephant and the ant? <laughs> no. It's not the ant. What's up, Lori? No one. So... The ant is not going to win. The ant is our conscious mind. It's an ant. The elephant is a subconscious mind. It's an elephant. Nothing's going to go past the, the elephant. That's your subconscious. That's your emotional world. That means whatever you have functioning in your emotional body, good, bad, indifferent, negative, positive, that is going to win every time, no matter what you think you would like to have happen. So take that example that I just given you and, and hopefully the people who said ant, do you now understand what I'm talking about and why the elephant is going to win? I think that's a very important question. Let's answer that first. Hey, Don. So the question on the table is, do you understand now why the elephant's going to win over the ant? If you do, just type a yes. It's very important that we all are on the same page right now. It always is. And welcome, Anitra. Bam. Mr. Mario in the lead. All right. Yes, everyone's on the same page. Perfect. Okay, so now if you think about our subconscious mind, that is our elephant. It remembers everything that has ever happened to us since existence. Like being in mom's womb, that's how much you remember. It's just like a computer. Now, if you've had experiences with mom and dad in, in life, and whatever else happens, if you've had those experiences and you've created, quote unquote, a story around them of I'm not good enough, nobody loves me, um, in order for a relationship to be successful, there must be pain and anger. If you notice these things through the people, places, circumstances, situations, and events, if you notice those feelings, that's what you are committed to. Yes, we can definitely assist in guiding our elephant by loving the patterns and the areas that we have in life and consciously putting in the information to change it until our subconscious agrees. Here's the beauty of conscious language and body language. Once you identify the issue where you're off your mark, the glitch in your matrix, through your body language, what's up, Jaybird? Through your body language, you can make a new choice. And when you make a new choice, Consciously, your body is going to start going along with you and saying, all right, I will. I can. I'm seeing differently. I'm willing to be seen differently. I'm giving direction to hearing myself. I'm giving God-given strengths on making a right choice. All of this information is going on all of the time. All of the time. Most people are just completely unaware of it. Now, how does this apply in our life? Let's talk about real world application. Real world application is this, is for quite some time, many of you know this, I was suicidal in my 20s and I thought that I had made it through because I was living my life and I was just, I had moved on, so to speak. And I noticed seven, eight years later that I would be happy in a relationship or my career or whatever. And all of a sudden I would start, I would notice that I was happy. And then all of a sudden I would start having sabotage thoughts out of nowhere. And I'm like, what is this? Why, why am I, why am I thinking this way? I just said I was happy. Well, 
The reason that I was suicidal is because I went through a relationship that threw me for a loop that I was unprepared for the emotions and the backlash that happened when we split up and I went on a crazy emotional spree and had basically was suicidal. I had done lots of drugs, had just basically like love equaled massive pain for me. I'll answer questions in a little while. Love equaled massive pain for me. Not wrong, it's just what it is. So now you fast forward to today or to eight years ago and I would get into a relationship and all of a sudden I would start sabotaging my thought when I was happy. Well, for me, I still had a commitment that love equaled pain. I hadn't forgiven the whole situation consciously and forgiven myself and chose to love myself and to move forward. And what happened was, I was creating cyclical experiences to identify and to, and to validate my emotional status of loving equal pain. Not wrong. Would have been great to fucking know about 10 years earlier. Would you agree? Would have saved me from going to jail. Would have saved all kinds of stuff. And I'm grateful that it did happen because I wouldn't be here with the conviction that I have today and the 100% transparency to share with you my experience and wisdom that has allowed me to understand the stories and experiences in my life to help me show up who I am today for you and for myself and for the people that I get to serve. And you have the same gift. What I'm expressing to you, inviting you to consider and to try on is what I'm telling you resonating with you. The next question is, is are you functioning at your highest? Do you, are you your highest choice? Can you go to bed and say, man, I am my highest choice right here, right now. My relationship is my highest choice right here, right now. My career is my highest choice right here, right now. If you cannot do that, not wrong. I invite you to ask yourself the question, when is now a good time to start asking those questions and being 100% authentic with yourself and your responses so you can truly show up with the information and the wisdom necessary for you to thrive because that's what God desires for all of his children to do. In every area of your life, your spiritual connection, your emotional relationships, your career, all of that, Everything that is available to you is available to you and you can be ecstatically enthusiastic about the whole experience despite what has happened in your past if you choose to be authentic with where you're at right now. And I'm not going to tell you that it's easy. <laughs> I assure you, you will have challenges when you step into your full your full. Your full calling, you will have challenges because you are going to test yourself through your outer environment. Okay? And God funds God's plans. So if you're walking and you are in his light of what he has allowed you and created you to do, you will succeed. There's no question about it. It's just a matter of will you persevere and do what's necessary to be the best version of yourself every day as often and consciously consistent as you can. I invite you to, instead of using the phrase when someone asks you a question, you say, I don't know. Automatically, you're programming yourself to say, I don't know. I'm like, I don't know is not a, a viable answer around here. I don't know and I choose to know. Who would know? How can I find out? What's it going to take? We are consciously and unconsciously, we are constantly and unconsciously programming our lives with our words. If there's one thing that you take away from me today, I, I would have you consider that what you say is what is creating your experience. What you say is creating your thoughts, it's creating your behaviors and your life and your lifestyle and the quality or lack of quality of your life is directly indicated to the type of habits that you have because of what you're saying and what you are expressing out of your mouth. Now, the beauty of that is, is you can change it right now. <laughs> you don't have to wait. There is no time other than right now. We could all blow up today. And yesterday will never happen again unless it is allowed to surface and your elephant doesn't or your conscious mind is not recognizing the conversation that your elephant is trying to have and saying all right i understand that you're desiring to go 
Why are you desiring to go that way? And how can we create a win-win situation? Until you start asking yourself different questions and loving exactly, loving exactly where you're at with not trying to change it. Just loving it exactly where it's at. Every experience that has ever happened in your life, love it exactly where it's at. Give yourself permission to be okay about it. Take the charge off. Take the judgment off of it and watch what happens. What I invite you to consider is this, is that you are a, you are a creator. You are a universe in training, as my coach would say. You have, if you can imagine it, you can do it. Look at all the things that human beings have accomplished since the beginning of time. We're standing on the backs and the shoulders of some amazing giants to be where we're at today. Think about the time, the technology, the information that you have available to you at the touch of your fingertips. Are you utilizing it so you can be the highest choice that, that God created you to do? If you're not, when's now a good time to start? You only have a certain amount of time in the day and realistically you probably have about 12 hours because the other 12 hours you're probably going to be asleep somewhere around that. Are you investing your time daily to improve yourself, to be the best version of yourself for yourself? Don't do it for anyone else but yourself. By you doing it for yourself, you're giving all the people in your life permission to thrive because you're showing them more is caught than taught. What I would like for you to do Take your finger, your hand like this and put it on your nose. <laughs> Make sure you put it on your nose. Now, if you are sitting here with the ham, your hand like this on your cheek when it should be on your nose, just type the word yes. If you have your hand, when I said put it on your nose, if you have your face here, type a yes in the box. And this will prove my 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 act this is a fact that more is caught than taught we pick up how to behave because of our parents because of our experiences because of the people that we're around that's why it's always important think about this you will be the average of your five closest people that you hang out with financially emotionally spiritually relationships any of that you will be the average of your five friends that you hang out with. Not wrong. Maybe ask yourself the question, should I be interacting and meet, meeting some new people to help me understand and help me to be the next best version of myself? I have some smart people on here. You actually put it on your nose. That's impressive. I think you're going to make it. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to put a pause on my part of the conversation right now and now I saw some questions and things and let's would you like to yes go through these and I'll go back through the top and see what questions we have but if you have any questions go ahead and post them now and I'm going to scroll through the feed and see what we got boom all right we got a lot Tyson Started eating better again. I actually noticed that the pan that I cooked my chicken and vegetables cleaned it really easily without residue. Finally realized the former crap. I stayed something in there. It's a lot. Um, debating on what macros to go with. We'll talk about that later. Or you can message me. Showing pause, subconscious, dun dun dun, elephant. Yes, one of the questions was. Can we influence our elephant? 100%. If you've never read or listened to the book, uh, Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill, I highly encourage you to do it. And here is a very important portion of it. Napoleon Hill, so here's a little background on Napoleon Hill. Napoleon Hill was in the early 20s and 30s, and he was commissioned by Andrew Carnegie. I believe it was Andrew Carnegie. Um, Carnegie. Yes, I believe it was Andrew Carnegie. Uh, the head of the steel, one of the richest men in the world at the time, he commissioned Napoleon Hill to do research on all of the most famous people that were out there with loaded with money and resources, outwitting the devil, yes. And basically what he did was he researched all of these people and he found the common threads through them. 
Now, in Outwitting the Devil, this one is amazing. Like, he literally is having a conversation with the devil. He did a mastermind, and you, you need to, or I suggest that you get it to check it out. He's actually having a conversation with the devil, like you and I are having right now, other than it would be verbal coming back on your end. And, and the devil's going through all the ways that he sabotages and destroys people. Smoking cigarettes is one of the top ones. He also uses something called hypnotic rhythm, which is very interesting. By a, by a show or a, a, a statement of yes in the message box, how many times have you ever heard a commercial or a song that was really catchy, and then when it turns off, you find yourself having this thought or this, this phrase from a movie or a, a TV commercial or a commercial on the radio? How many times have you had that in your thought process where it's like, man, I can't get this song out of my head? Has that ever happened to you? Yes or no? And we have four minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and go out on a limb and say, yes, it has happened to you. And here's the reason why. Hypnotic rhythm. Hypnotic rhythm is one of the major tactics that the negative spiritual side of life, some what we call the devil, um, is what he uses as one of his main tools of mental subconscious destruction and disempowerment. For example, I'm just going to use rap for an example, and there's good rap and there's bad rap, and there's also lots of rap that's got some pretty not so good things in there for kids and people to be listening to. Now, the cool, not well, the the situation is when you have a beat that is really catchy. I listen to a lot of house music and things because I like the beat. There's no words to it, and when you have a beat that has words or lyrics that have been laced into it that are not creating love, empowerment, joy, um, things that are positive to our emotional experience. When it is doing the opposite of that, it is dramatically affecting you whether you are aware of it or not because it is literally boosting your feeling to raise your energetic vibration. So anything that you put into your noggin at that time is locked down. Good or bad. So how I use hypnotic rhythm is I will have my affirmations with beats on them. I do things that raise my vibration and then I dump in what I'm choosing to experience to start changing where my subconscious is functioning at through conscious words and conscious affirmations. Hypnotic rhythm is extremely potent Use it as something that works for you. I encourage you, if you have not gotten the book, The One Thing, or gotten the, I would say, I like the audio. I'm an audio person. Or gotten the audio, Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill. Do yourself a favor. Invest your 30 bucks. You're worth it. I assure you that, and I'm going to go back and say this one more time, that we have 60,000 thoughts a day. Most people, to the tune of about 98% of people on the planet, have the same thoughts every day. They have the same thoughts every day because they are not introducing new influential information to change their thoughts. Therefore, they have no new experiences and they are in the cyclical thing they call life. Perfect. Aaron said they have it on YouTube. So what I invite you to do is to take my take what I'm sharing with you that I have invested my life in learning and allow me to take you in, into short path a way for you to thrive by understanding that putting new information in your brain is going to be one of the most potent ways for you to change. And if you have any interest in learning the body language and things that I've discussed, Think and Grow Rich is a great one too. That's actually one of the most popular ones you should definitely read. If you are ready to learn body language and learn how to connect with yourself and most importantly, create miracles in your own life and other people's lives, I'm only gonna, I'm gonna give you the code 
You only have 30 minutes. Our body language program is our best program, in my opinion. The most potent information. If you go to thinkgreatloseweight.com, for the next 30 minutes, actually check it out, for the next day, because the replayers, use the code BODY. Go to thinkgreatloseweight.com, go to Education Center, go to Body Language Series, enter the code BODY and hit apply. You'll get a 70% discount. I assure you it is the most potent information you will ever find. Have an awesome day. And remember, if you don't make time for your wellness, you will make time for your illness. Bye.